our support for those in Paris. But the message was the same at all of these gatherings. We stand with you. Channel 2's Anusha Rasta joins us from the French consulate tonight where people continue to stop by and share their support. Anusha? That's right. Well, the office of the French consulate general is in this building, and you can see people have dropped off flowers, candles, and cards on the front steps of this building in honor of those victims in Paris. Now, this is one of four different vigils seen today in town. It was a day of remembrance in Houston for the innocent people murdered in Paris on Friday. Why did they attack uh, innocent people like that? This isn't just an attack in Paris. This is an attack on the values that we all share. People at the Miller Outdoor Theater in Herman Park sang the French national anthem together at a prayer vigil, glow sticks and France's flag in hand. A French politician even flew in from Paris for Sunday's event in Houston to show his support. France in, is under attack. It's the war. Earlier that afternoon in the Galleria, the Council on American Islamic Relations branch in Houston held its own prayer vigil to mourn the death of victims in not just Paris, but other places around the world that have been the target of terrorist attacks. Kenya, Lebanon, Turkey, and Iraq, to name a few. We are here to stand in solidarity with other people of faith and people of no faith. At Sam Houston Park on Sunday morning, a third vigil for Paris victims. This event is very, very, very tragic, and we are have to be all together. Acts in Paris is the second time the city's been targeted in less than a year. Reporting live in the Galleria, Anusha Rasta, KPRC Channel 2 News. And the woodlands fighting a deadly disease today after weeks in the hospital. She's getting a big surprise. Yes, yeah, she has a new.